Good morning, everyone. Welcome. This is week eight. This is the last week of my eight-week training phase, and I wanted to show you guys my progress and also explain to you guys the challenges that I've faced over this last eight weeks and then also what to do next after you're done with hitting the goal. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tim Bonner. I'm a transformational coach. I've been taking you guys through this series, teaching you guys how to lose weight and also showing you guys the tools and tips that I use to lose and get in shape as well. All right, guys, so before I show you guys my progress, I do want to get one last workout in. I'm, I'm going to be hitting some arms and some shoulders and along with some cardio. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Today is judgment day. I'm gonna be weighing myself as well, showing you my progress for these past eight weeks. And you're gonna be uh, seeing something that's interesting and I'm gonna ex be explaining to you why uh, your body weight is not as important as your body composition. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys my progress. All right guys, so as you saw right there, I'm at 136.8, which is crazy because when I started this journey, I was about 138.4. And this is why I explained that our focus shouldn't be more on the weight scale, it should be more on your body composition because your weight fluctuates every single day, especially with women because of their hormones, their weight fluctuates all the time. So body composition is what your weight is made of, which is your muscle, your fat, which is water that you intake. So. That is why we focus on, you know, looking in the mirror and seeing if your physique has changed or if your clothes are starting to get loose, things like that. So um, that's how you can simply measure things other than the scale. All right guys, so let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, this is what I look like. Like I said, I'm gonna pop up a picture of what I look like um, about oh, eight weeks ago and you can see I'm starting to have abs here. The hardest part for me to lose is the lower part. This is the last part that goes. And so I was saying is that I put on body fat really easy because of my height. I'm five one and a half. <laughs> and it is very easy for me to just collect fat around my waist. So that is why in order for me to get super lean and super shredded, I have to weigh my foods and I have to uh, track religiously so if you guys want to see that if you want to see me take my physique to the next level make sure you leave a comment down below with the keyword keep going and I will show you guys how to do that but I do want to talk about some of the challenges that I faced over this eight weeks because there were challenges uh, now that I'm in a new stage of life um, I'm married and have two kids I actually have a 10 month old that's about to be one uh, it definitely has been a challenge for me to keep my health a priority um, when I was single it was very easy for me to get my workouts in very easy for me to prep my food and because I only had 
myself to be uh, responsible for. So now that I'm in this stage of life, I have more responsibilities. So I have to be very intentional with my time and making sure that I fit my workouts in when I can. So um, that was definitely a big challenge for me. Uh, I know that's very common with people who have families. They We tend to put our health in the back burner and it's very important that we make sure that we keep that at the highest part of our, our priority list because um, I know it's gonna be helpful for ourselves as well as helpful for the family as well. So if you don't like to work out after a work day because you're tired, then try to switch it up and work out in the morning. That way you can get it done, check it off your list and not worry about the rest of the day. Make sure that it's scheduled in. All right guys, so now that you completed your goal, you can do a few things here. You can either maintain where you're at, you can either continuing to lose weight and get leaner, or you can build muscle and build strength. So it really depends on what you wanna do. What I'm gonna do is to uh, continue to get leaner and then probably work on building strength. So that's that's pretty much how you figure out what you wanna do after you completed the goal. All right guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for those who have been following my journey for the support as well. If you wanna hear anything else or want me to discuss any topics, make sure you leave in the comments below. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe. And uh, I am gonna be taking a, a week off or so, so that way I can kinda of recuperate and brainstorm more ideas to talk about. Um, but other than that guys, thank you again so much for the support. We'll see you soon.